I dyed yarn with Carrot Tops, I want to show you how I got these colors. So to dye with Carrot Tops, I used this book, Wild Color by Jenny Dean, to help me, kind of guide me along with how to do it, especially what measurements to use. So in the book it recommends mordantine the yarn which basically means that you're doing something to the yarn, wool yarn, before dyeing to make sure that the color stays on your yarn but also that it comes out in a really nice strong color. So to mordant my yarn I followed the instructions in there to use alum and cream of tartar. So 8% alum and 7% cream of tartar basically just simmering your yarn in that and then rinsing it all out and then basically your yarn is ready to use for dyeing. So for carrot tops, it's recommended to do this process. That's what I did. I let my yarn simmer in that mixture for about an hour, and then I got my carrot tops ready. So what I did for the carrot tops now, the carrot top color, is I had about 160 grams of carrot tops. The yarn that I used to dye it was about 120 grams. In the book, it recommends at least using the same quantity of yarn as carrot tops. So I put all my carrot tops in some water, I let it simmer for about half an hour, and then I just slowly let it cool down in that hot water. You gotta be careful with natural dyes because you don't want them to boil too much or that could affect your color. Could be in a positive way, but also maybe you won't get the color that you wish. After I strained out the carrot tops, and then I soaked my yarn in water, and after that put them in the dye water that was left when the carrot tops were strained out. And then similar process, I let the yarn now in the dye water heat up slowly to about a simmer, simmered it for over half an hour, and then just slowly let everything cool down by itself. After everything was cooled down, I rinsed the yarn, and this is the nice yellow color that I got from carrot tops. I wasn't done with my experiment yet, because I actually had two skeins of yarn. So in total I had 120 grams of yarn. So I had two 60 gram hanks of yarn in that carrot dye. And so these two were actually the same color once, but what I did is I wanted to experiment with iron. So when you're dealing with iron and natural dyes, it saddens the color. It makes it more of a darker color in some way of what it was originally. And so for this color here, which ended up being a really nice deep olive green color, is that I did this by, after dyeing and getting everything rinsed out, I put this hank of yarn in some water with some iron. And so to get that iron, all I did was I had some rusty nails sitting in a little solution of vinegar and water for at least a couple weeks. I had poured a little bit of that in that water, put the skein in, and let that sit for a little while. I didn't actually even have to let it sit for that long. I think maximum it was in there maybe seven minutes, maybe closer to five. And this is the color that I got. So I went from looking something like this, this really nice yellow color, to this olive green. So that's one of the cool things that you can do when you're experimenting with natural dyes. You can get two quite different colors with the same dye material. Let me know in the comments if you've ever dyed with carrot tops and the different colors that you've gotten with them or even any other natural dyes that you've tried. <laughs>